Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today, we get a marathon lined up by our good friend and supporter, Narvik. Thank you so much. Vielen, vielen Dank, as you say in German. And um, yeah, so we're going to get into it. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video and the marathon. I do appreciate it. So let's get in to uh, what Narvik has for us today. So we're going to start it off very um, uh, differently so th with KISS. Now, KISS is a band that I've never been able to get into. Um, maybe this is going to change my mind, you know, knowing Narvik and how the music he chooses is usually very heavy um, and proggy, you know. So I don't know, but maybe not. So let's see. I've tried. I, I, I remember... Um, Back in Me back in Mexico, I found a Kiss album, and I was so excited because, well, just because of the cover, I thought, wow, it's gonna be like super heavy. And indeed, the first song, um, I think it was called, it was do 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 you see, I still remember very well because that's basically the only song that I liked of the album because I was like, it sounds a little like Iron Maiden. It had like twin guitars and stuff. But then the rest of the album kind of like just felt flat compared to the music that I was, that I was listening to at the time, which was Iron Maiden, Judas Priest, Metallica, Megadeth, and so forth. So... I was like, Kiss is more, I guess it's more, it's not like Led Zeppelin either. I, there was a very limited supply of rock in Mexico, so I, there was nothing that I could really compare it to. So I was like, nah, this is not for me. So so today I'm going to like really try and reconnect with Kiss. So we got first, this is the lineup. So we got Kiss, we got this song Danger, and this is from Creatures of the Night, 1982. Then we got Exciter from the album Lick It Up, 1983. So this is without the makeup. Okay, cool. And then we got Rush. And I know Alexia's not here, but we have to, the show must go on. We got Test for Echo. And this is from Test for Echo, 1996, or some 90s Rush. I think that's the first Rush we did. And then a song, a, a band called Pariah, Blaze of Obscurity. And this is from Blaze of Obscurity as well, 1989. I'm sure this is very, very heavy. But I, I mean, I, I've, the, I just know the bands. I've never heard any of these songs. So let's get into it. So thank you again. If you're here for the first time, consider liking the video. And by the end, if you're convinced that you like this channel, you know, you can subscribe or you can watch some other videos. My wife and I, we do lots of reactions together. and But I also do some, these marathons, usually I do them by myself because they're very lengthy and she can't really sit that long. Um, okay, so let's get into it. Thank you again, Narvik, for this marathon and uh, let's get into it. Here we go. Kiss Danger. <laughs>
insane. I've never heard them play this heavy. This literally sounds like Judas Priest, you know? Like, I'm not kidding. If I would have bought this album, I would have been a Kiss fan. But I didn't. Um, let me see what I bought. Let me see. It must be here. Aha. Uh -huh. I bought the album Dynasty. Or Dynasty. Yeah, I was made for loving you. Mm -hmm. Dirty living. Yeah, I bought the wrong. I bought the wrong. The wrong record. Yeah, this is like, this is this is right up my alley. Like, yeah, I. It was just not the right record and then it but that's the only one they had and so i was like wow amazing really 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 totally different i've never heard him I, I mean i've heard of course i saw the movie detroit rock city but um this is like heavy stuff man so let's let's continue hey, I was feeling really felt so different it's like i have new respect for kiss um i mean not that i didn't respect them as a um, influential like you know pop culture phenomenon that they were or are but the music was never really like well you know this is really they really stepped up their i mean I don't know, maybe it was just the 70s that they were more soft and and then they heard, I guess, everybody else just like... And then they started doing their own thing. But that solo and the whole riff and the singing, really cool. Reminded me a lot of Priest or like Rainbow, like because I've listened, <laughs> I've listened to a lot of Rainbow on this channel um, and Deep Purple. Really cool. I'm really surprised. So like I said at the beginning... Maybe he's going to change my mind. You did. So kudos to you, Narvik. Thank you. And uh, we're going to do another one by Kiss. Exciter. Um, let's see. And this is even a year later. Um, let's see if this is even heavier. Let's go. <laughs>
Jesus Christ. So I was I was like literally like a kid going through like the booklet um, because I was like, OK, I need to check who who's the vocalist. And and one very, I guess. OK, give me one second. This might be important. Okay, I'm back. Everything's fine. Um, it was just Alexia. She was kind of worried because I was not answering my phone because I'm like, you know, and uh, so usually, um, I don't know. I have it on the computer, so it like notifies me. But so she was like, what the hell, you know? So I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm fine. I'm doing videos. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't think uh, I just went through the video. Um. But it's so loud that you can't hear my ringer tone. And my ringer tone is very, it's like, so you can't hear that with, with all the going on. So uh, I tried to like, and I, I couldn't even edit it out, but, it, but it's over here. So I don't think you, um, you can hear it. I really tried to decipher it but it's not there so all good so what i was talking about it that, that i was looking here at the notes and and i was like okay well it's it's uh it's paul stanley and Jen, uh, gene simmons on the vocals but i think it's more paul but the what's very different is this vinnie vincent is giving i guess this whole thing like a heavier approach because ace uh uh, what's his name? Ace Freely. Yeah, Ace Freely is not on this, so I don't know what happened. I don't know the whole drama or the why he left, but I'll get into it later. But um, definitely heavier, and I think I've seen a Vinnie Vincent um, video where they did the the song "We're Stars," you know. Uh, but I only know it because Ingrid Malmsteen appeared on it, and that I. And his solo basically kicked everybody's butt. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. Um, and uh, so that's why I know Vinnie Vincent because it said Vinnie Vincent, but it didn't say Kiss or anything. But it, I read some like that he was not officially a member of the band and the whole rock drama that we don't want to get into right now. Okay, so let's continue um, with uh, Rush, Test for Echo. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, vertigo, video vertigo, test for echo. Here we go, in slow mo, video vertigo, test for echo. Test for echo. Gangsta 
touch and go in slow So, wow, I mean, this is totally different uh, Rush um, again. Like, um, I'm going to call this marathon, like, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, it's totally different from the Rush that we've heard so far. We've done a lot of 70s. We did 2112. Um, uh, oh, my God. You know, we had heard uh, Moving Pictures. Um, we did, I think the entire, let's see, let's just go through real quick what we've done. So, you know, so permanent waves, a little bit of fly by night album signal. So we would like eighties, like seventies, early eighties. And then we just did some very eighties, um, the other day, um, very synthy rush, but I've never done, we've never done nineties rush. So it sounds very, just like very guitar uh bass so the bass is back full power the drums i really like it it's very different from the 70s rush but i do like it um i just i guess i get have to get used to it but i it sounds great uh they sound really fresh and uh i can't even like i i don't even know what what i'm gonna think when i listen to like you know a 2000 something album you know but i mean there are but um yeah definitely very interesting um just very different so it's like you know when you listen to 80s iron maiden and then you listen to like 2000s iron maiden it's different it's just a different style uh of music it sounds heavier and just to i guess to listen to them play this heavy is quite new to me, but I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to go back a little bit and continue.
uh, yeah. I think maybe the drums, maybe Neil's way of playing is much more like, you know, like it's like he's really getting at it. And um, maybe it's more distorted and the bass has more power and it just it, and it doesn't sound as proggy. I think that's the thing that is throwing me off. But it's not that I don't like it. It's just a different style of rush. Um, I think it's more straightforward rock and not progressive rock it's it's more like almost like it's not quite metal because it doesn't have to do, 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 like that stuff but it's more like i don't know but i do like it i do like it it's just it, th this is what happened when we did the other reaction to i think it was 2006 rush or something and we were just like wow this sounds like so different because we're just so used to the progressive 70s rush but i do like it I, I do have to say i'm just like it's like that shock that you get when you listen to a band like two decades later or something then that then it's like it, it catches you off guard but i did like it a lot i loved of course his voice is still the same beautiful getty and then his his um his his bass is like all over the track very very not all over but very like active you know how he plays very um like he just doesn't he do, he doesn't play just like the the chord the dum 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 he he's like he plays literally what Alex is playing so but yeah I did enjoy it very much so okay Moving on to Pariah. Now, this is a band I've never heard of at all, not even the name. So I'm very intrigued. Um, I have no idea what this is going to be, but knowing Narvik, it's going to be something like heavy. <laughs> so let's get into it. And the, that would be the conclusion of the marathon. So here we go. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Dreams just break your throat 
Wow. <laughs> so I just had to stop. This is really good. Like really, it reminds me of Annihilator, like really heavy, like thrash metal from San Antonio, Texas. I just I looked them up and it's so funny. They were inspired by Guns N' Roses, but man, they're way heavier than Guns N' Roses. And that solo was sweet, sweet, sweet. That was like, that's like the kind of stuff that I like that it's, that guy took some thought into that solo. You know, it, it, there's no improvisation. It's all calculated to sound badass and, and, and it sounds amazing. That solo was just killer. The whole like, those like, you know, the pinch harmonics and it sounds really like in your face really cool i'm sure tony's gonna love this i'm i'm sure if it, <laughs> i i wouldn't be surprised if he sent us a cd and it's uh, it's still sitting there i wouldn't be surprised um so um again thanks to tony for the collection that you see in the back of cds and um thank you narvik for showing me this band man this is Good stuff, man. I, I wish I would have known this back in the day. I would have been a fan. I mean, I can still become one, you know. I'm really enjoying this. Let's continue. Crazy, crazy, crazy good stuff. I mean, we got Kiss, totally changed my perspective. We got a new Rush that totally changed my perspective too. I was very surprised. And this band that I have no idea existed, um, really, really cool. Now, let me do one last thing and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Thank you so much. Uh, I do have to check. Um, I thought my phone had rang again, but I... I uh, turned it off now and we're all good. So thank you so much, Narvik, for this amazing marathon. I did enjoy it. It was super um, entertaining, heavy, eye-opening, you know, literally what I was expecting uh, when I saw those that lineup. I was I knew there was something going on because I'm, I'm sure you wouldn't have played me um, rock and roll all night or something like that. <laughs> Uh, so that this was very cool. Uh, Pariah, I'm gonna you know keep my eye on them. Uh, the Rush, you know, Adventure and the Rabbit Hole will continue, of course, with Alexia and uh, Kiss. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna check out their their '80s stuff and um, uh, you know just like instead of just brushing them off, it did change my perspective a lot. So thank you so much, everybody. For watching. I hope you did enjoy. Thank you again, Narvik, for you know making this video possible. 
And I hope you have a great day and we'll see us in the next video. Take care, guys.